Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tasia, but you can also call me Tay, and welcome in. I'm so excited to have you here. Oh, there is Lily there behind me. So cute. I've always wanted her on an island, so I'm so happy she's here on Gardenia. Um, anyways, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another speed build, and we are building a transition from resident services to my entrance. So before we get into it, I would greatly appreciate if you could like and subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. I'd love to have you guys join this community that we are building here. So let's get started on today's speed build. Running from resident services to my entrance, there's actually quite a bit of space here and um, I'm thinking that I'm just going to wind this area from my entrance here, which I did in my last speed build, all the way to resident services. Um, and I'm probably just going to add some big cliffs and have a few inclines there. And I also have that bridge there in the center. It's pretty much aligned with the center of resident services. So I just have this placed here for now because I think it would be really great to incorporate it in some way. So firstly, we are once again starting with planting a lot of flowers. I think for this island, since it is a garden type theme, I think the flowers are going to be my main source of decor for this island, so I hope you guys don't mind if you see me planting a ton of flowers and that's pretty much all there is throughout the island. I mean, I feel like that will mainly be the idea for the front of the island, maybe not so much the secret garden. Of course, there'll be flowers there, but it won't just be flowers, I promise. <laughs> but next, I thought it would be really cool to create a little lookout and centerpiece view here. So I'm kind of outlining this little island, I guess, in the middle of this water, and I'm going to be placing a well there. I think this would just be really cute, especially as you're walking by along the path here and just seeing the well in the middle of the water. I just think it'll be really pretty. So I kind of just start framing out and outlining where that will be. And I'm also, once again, planting more trees. I kind of go back and forth between planting and placing path and terraforming as I build because it's just easier for me to figure out how this is gonna flow. But I'm also winding this path up to this bridge here. And I'm actually not sure if I wanna keep the bridge as this natural simple bridge or if I should do the flat wooden bridge. I don't remember its exact name, but I think you guys know what I mean. In the end, I really like this bridge here amongst all the decor that's around it, but I do add in a second bridge later on and it just doesn't match that second bridge. So I'm not sure if I'll change it, we shall see. I tend to change a lot of areas on my island, but um, later down the line, but I don't know. For now, I like it. So next I'm working on this little filler spot and I was kind of inspired by Autumn Weeds over on Instagram and the way that she decorates her islands. She has many great filler spots throughout her islands and they're always so pretty and beautiful. So I kind of wanted to do something like that and spread those around my island as well. So I laid down these dirt tracks here and I'm going to be placing two garden wagons and a mini wooden birdhouse. I think those common of items will be super cute and really fits the garden vibe. So here I am placing the garden wagons and I went with the white variation because it just matches my color scheme. And there is the birdhouse right there. I've never really used the birdhouse items in games so I really like it here in this spot and it's kind of fun to use. I might use some more throughout the island. We shall see. And there I placed the mini brick well in the center and I'm going to go back here and start working on some more terraforming. So I'm planning on extending this mini river into a waterfall. So I'm just covering this little piece of terraforming with some bushes and flowers and weeds. And I'm just, as I mentioned, going to extend the river into a waterfall. So here's kind of the before view of what it will look like. And I'm planning on having that waterfall trickle down from the left side of this build. A 
as I was doing this, I thought it would be really fun to make resident services kind of sunken. So I'm surrounding resident services with some terraforming and reshaping my river just to make it flow and feel very natural. But um, I'm just adding in all of this terraforming around resident services and I'm going to add in an incline up and then there will be an incline leading down on the left side of the plaza. So. Yeah, I think it'll be really pretty, and this is where I'm going to implement my double bridge moment. So the bridge at the bottom of this build will hopefully be centered with the bridge that I will be placing on top of this terraforming here, and it will just be a really pretty view, I think. And here is a view of how the terraforming is looking behind this well here. I will be adding another layer of terraforming just to give the waterfall some height, and I will add some trees into the area as well. But I'm once again extending this terraforming and finally starting to work on the waterfall. So as I mentioned before in one of my speed builds, when I'm building out my terraforming, I really just go with the flow. I kind of just extend and build based on what looks right to me and how the area is turning out. And just when it comes to waterscaping and terraforming, I've also mentioned that I kind of just make it feel very natural by adding in all those curves into it and really filling out my cliffs with some greenery and nature. And I just really think that gives off that very natural kind of style. And here's a view of how it looks. I think it's so pretty. It's definitely a very big statement kind of build, I think, from that view. So I'm really happy with how that's turning out. And I'm also just behind here extending some more cliff and placing another tree to give my area more dimension. So now I'm working on creating the waterfall that will trickle into the bottom bridge of this build. And this is going to be where I place my second bridge. I am trying to make it centered with resident services, so I'm kind of just using the doors of resident services as a guide, as well as that little line in the middle of the brick of the plaza. It is pretty much the exact middle of the resident services, so I used that as a little guide as well. So I did have to go in and cut a little bit of my terraforming inwards to make it equal on both sides of the center. And before I go and create the river into the bottom bridge, I'm just adding some weeds over here and more cliff decor and vines just to start decorating this top cliff. But now I'm finally creating the river for connecting these two bridges and I'm just making it very windy once again, that's usually my go-to. But I'm also adding in little indents into the river to add some plants that kind of align with the edge of this river. And finally, I'm just going to add in all the decor surrounding this little build here. I'm really going for that aesthetic overgrown style that you typically see on Instagram, many of those aesthetic islands. And it took me a minute to kind of figure it out because I've never done a full theme in that style. I've probably done one or two small areas like that. But this has been just really fun for me to do. And I've kind of realized that most people, I think, accomplish this by creating a single path and surrounding that path with as much flowers and plants and greenery as possible, really adding in those different heights of trees. And that kind of just accomplishes that very overgrown natural style. And I think especially if you make certain roads kind of skinnier and some wider, it really adds in that variation. And next, I really wanted to create like a little transition into the incline. I thought this would be super cute. So I'm adding these white fences here with a mini garden gate. And it's kind of just like a little entrance that will lead into the incline. I thought that was a super cute detail. It really reminds me of a garden style. So I'm glad I put that in there. And I want to use tall white fences as much as possible throughout my island because it just really fits the theme. 
And finally, I'm placing down the bridge. I went with the stone bridge because I think it's just very pretty and especially for lookout kind of builds or double bridge moments, I think the stone bridge is a really great choice. So I time traveled to the next day and here is the incline and bridge put in. I think it's so pretty. I love how close they are and how natural this terraforming looks and flows. So next, I'm kind of just going to add a few details on the left side of these bridges and trying not to go over board in the decor because I need to hold back and not decorate too much into this area because I'm mainly focusing on the transition build on the right but I kind of again like to give myself some structure and ideas while I'm building as to how I can continue out my builds that's usually how I transition fairly easily is give myself a mini start and using similar items or pathing or decor throughout your entire island to really bring it together. So we are done with today's speed build. I'm going to do a mini walkthrough of the area. So here, starting at my airport and walking through, this is the transition from resident services to my airport. And here is the view of the little well surrounded by this water. I feel like this turned out so great. I'm so happy with how this transition turned out. It's definitely, even though I've only done two builds, it's definitely my favorite of the two. It's so natural and overgrown. I love the early autumn weeds in this area. It just really frames this whole section very well. And here is the little filler spot that I made with those two garden wagons. And here is the double bridge view. Again, definitely let me know you guys what you think about these two bridges. Do you like them together? Should I change the bottom one? I definitely like the stone one where it is, but I'm still contemplating about this bottom bridge. I really like how it looks mixed in with all the decor around it, but it just doesn't quite fit with the stone. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And here is the little entrance gate that leads into this incline. And here is the top cliffs. I will be decorating these two areas in my next speed build, but here is the waterfall that behind the well here that flows into the bottom. And here is the view of resident services. I think I will be adding a ton of terraforming behind it as well, so I think this will be a really pretty view once I get that done. So that was today's speed build. Definitely let me know what you guys think. If you have any other suggestions of what I could add here on my island, definitely let me know. I'd love to read them. I'm always welcoming new suggestions and ideas for my islands. So that is all you guys. I hope you all have a lovely day or night. Definitely consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!